It is coming up on 645. We're looking live this morning at a camera we've been tracking from coastal Texas. This is Surfside Beach uh, south of Galveston, Galveston already being pounded by Hurricane Barrel, although not as strong as it was when it went through the Caribbean. Category one as it made landfall just a short while ago. This is what it looks like on first warning radar. We can show you some of the areas, uh, places like Houston and Galveston and north of Corpus Christi feeling the worst of it right now as those heavy rain bands have moved on shore. For more coverage on that, let's check in with meteorologist Miles Henderson now. Good morning, Miles. Yeah, that hurricane made landfall right around 5 o'clock our time this morning, right there along the coast of Texas. It's moving to the north at 12 miles per hour. Now that it's over land, I'm expecting it to weaken. So we'll see those winds back down pretty quickly as we go through the day and it'll be falling from a hurricane back down to a tropical storm. So expect some weakening as it moves over East Texas. It'll continue to weaken and fall apart as it heads across the center part of the country. So it's going to lose those tropical characteristics. Winds will back down, but all that moisture has to go somewhere and it's going to track its way right across the center part of the country. So here's the big picture here. Stationary front right over us for the first part of the week. There's that low pressure, the leftovers of Hurricane Barrel. It's going to move from Texas across the Mississippi and up towards the Ohio River Valley as we go towards midweek. Another front kind of trails behind that and it's going to camp out over top of us as we go into the end of the week. So several opportunities for showers and storms for us as we're sort of seeing the fringe of that moisture dodge to our west. So just look at the rain chances for this week. About a 40% chance scattered showers and storms popping up this afternoon down to about a 20% chance on Wednesday. So as far as rain chances go, Wednesday may be the best day this week. 50 to 60% chance for Thursday and Friday. So several opportunities for these scattered showers and thunderstorms this week. That stationary front I mentioned camped out right over top of us for today. Look for a mix of sun and clouds, partly cloudy. As we go right about lunchtime, we'll start to see those showers and storms popping up. They'll continue through the afternoon to early evening. They're six o'clock scattered showers and storms, and then they'll start to fizzle out for tonight. Tomorrow, same timeline. We'll see a nice mix of sun and clouds through the first part of the day. Right about lunchtime, those showers and storms start to pop up. But they will be scattered and then dying down again as we head through Tuesday night. We get Wednesday a little bit of a lower chance for us, but look for those chances to go back up for the end of the week. Very consistent when it comes to our temperatures. A lot of low 90s this week, which puts us at or just a little bit above normal for this time of year. Still going to be very muggy. Dew point values in the mid 70s all week puts us in that miserable category. So definitely feeling more tropical out there the next several days. And of course, that's going to make it feel hotter. Heat index each afternoon into the triple digits. So several days in a row where it's going to feel like 100 plus each and every day. So today, hot and humid, low 90s, feeling more like 100. That chance for a pop up shower or storm. That rain chance goes down just a little bit as we head towards midweek, but right back up again for Thursday, Friday into Saturday. The weekend the trend continues. So we're truly stuck in this pattern all week long with highs in the 90s, muggy, and that opportunity for a scattered shower or thunderstorm. All right.